welcome to stop three or stop one. I'm not sure which way around it goes. This one seems to be a popular, popular bike. Banana. Cat inside three colored circles. Three girls. He's not tall enough to get up there. So to get to the bathtub kittens, you walk down an alleyway, you'll see. Don't pull a hammy. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk it, dunk it. So this is where you just chill out and get your cigar. What is up everybody, it's Max and Kim. Today we are going to be exploring the street art in Penang. We've got maybe an hour before the rain's going to start pouring down on us again and we are heading out of Penang today. So what we found is a map with about 14 murals on it. We're going to try and hunt them all down. We've got one right behind us, success. 13 more to go. Let's see what we can find. As Kim said, it is our last day in Penang today. This afternoon we're flying to Kota Kinabalu in Borneo. And we're gonna see some Orangu tanks. Let's go! This one seems to be a popular popular bike. Okay, next location. That way. Location number two. Cat inside three colored circles. Kim's got the name. I can help catch rats. Cool. Oh, he's got a rat that he's catching. That is true. He we does have a little rat up there. We actually went the wrong way on the map. This is stop number four on the tour. We need to go start at number one. <laughs> we, I just, we drove past and I saw the kids on the bike and I love that one. So we stopped, but that's section number five. So we'll go three, two, one, and then we'll go to six. Welcome to stop three, or stop one. I'm not sure which way around it goes. This one here is called Three Girl. It's pretty, I like it small compared to the other ones, but it's super cute because it's purple and I love purple. I like turtles. I like purples. <laughs> I like purple. Current situation, searching for one called the Lion Dance. Starting to spit a little bit, so we're not sure how much time we have. Ooh, but we found a different one that's not a Lion Dance. That one's cool though. Just kidding, the Lion Dance one doesn't actually exist. Yeah, he said two months ago it got closed down. Not sure what that means. <laughs> Let's move on. Made it to number two on the list, was it? Number one. Number one, so this is the starting point. Yeah, it's called Reach Up. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. So you're helping him. It's all right, I got you. He's leaning up on the step. He's not tall enough to get up there. So number six on the list here is this motorbike, which actually is 3D and comes out of the wall. So the kid is painted on the door, and then the motorbike is half off the wall, half in the wall. So this half of the motorbike just actually stops there and goes into the wall. But the rest of it is 3D. Are you helping him tame his dragon? Yeah, it looks like you might need a bit of help. We found Jackie Chan. So if you just come where that biker one was, there's a little side road. You'll see this from the side of the road because that's the opening part. And then just opposite you, we can't get a photo because of the car right there. But it's Jackie cat. Chan versus cats. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> the cats were fast as lightning. Yeah, you better run away. You see Jackie Chan beating up your friend. So, as you can see with the Jackie Chan one, it's almost non-existent. And the same with the boy with his dragon. That's probably what happened to the dancing lion as well. So, because there's no dancing lion and Jackie Chan's almost non-existent, we found you a new one. A minion! Banana. His name is Dave. What's his name? Kevin. So, as well as the street art, they've also got these newer versions of the art that comes out from the wall. And then you can tell like the minion, the minion's actually been here for so long that you can see the paint starting to chip away. They look super worn out, but I think they've only been here for like one decade. Number nine. Also, I think this map is a walking map because we keep going down one way the wrong way. Nothing to see here, just a couple of tourists going down the one way street the wrong way. Go do some parkour. It's a huge cafe. It's actually really cool that you can still see most of the cat because if you look in here, most of the actual wallpaper is coming off. So it's just peeling down the wall. It's actually still really amazing that you can still make out the cat. So we were super lucky. The rain only lasted about five minutes, but it stopped. So now we're back on track and we've got six more to see. This is number nine. We're also making pretty good time. We've only been doing it for just under an hour. Yeah, and we like taking lots of photos and we keep getting distracted because even though the map's got the main 14 on it, there are a couple of 
other random ones. They're just hidden everywhere, like yeah. around every corner. You probably spend a good half a day just looking at all the stuff. So we found number 11. We couldn't find number 10, so we came straight to number 11 here. Which is a cute little kitten. But there's a crazy one right next to it. Why is that one not on the map? This one wasn't even on the list. It's huge. My head is as big as its nose. It must be a lot newer than the other ones. Nothing's like cracked off. Yeah, it's still complete. Just kidding, we found number 10. Our basked up kittens are down the little alley. It's a secret location. Okay, so to get to the bathtub kittens, you walk down an alleyway, you'll see some butterfly wings. Oh, so cute. Hey, little kittens. And then just opposite them, you've got some butterfly wings. Who are these? Don't need some coffee wings. So, what's the story behind this one? Well, the baker on the bike is selling buns, and then the kids are reaching out because they want the buns. But the guy who painted it actually painted the baker's kids. So cool. It's his kids trying to get his buns. Oh, hey guys, you want some buns? Can't catch me, suck it. They can't think... catch me anyway because I can't move. It's way easier. Don't pull a hammy. No joke though, pretty much the entire route that we've done this, we've been going the wrong way down one way streets. So if you're walking, that's gonna be fine because walking is all good. But if you're on a scooter, do it back to front, it'll save you so much hassle. Currently searching for 13 and 14, the last two for the day. Number 14 is definitely the best for last. It is the two girls on the swing, so you can sit on the other swing and do some swing it. Spoiler alert, the swing doesn't actually move. Okay, so the one of the kids playing basketball is just behind the container hotel sign just there. Really? Yeah. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk it, dunk it. And just across the road from 360 Dunk City, you have the road with the last couple on here. This is where Ashley and Cigar. So this is where you just chill out and get your cigar. Just next to the Susu and Cigar, we've got the two swings. Looks like they don't actually swing. Last photo shoot at the swings here, done. 14 minus one, but plus a few extra. We think we nailed it. We had the best time. So make sure if you do come to Penang, you check out all the street art. We've got to go hand the scooter back and then we go to the airport for our flight to Kota Kinabalu. Thanks for joining us on another adventurous day in Penang. It is as cool as everyone says. Hopefully this gives you a bit more of an insight into where the street art is and what kind of street art Penang has to offer. It only took us two hours, but you could definitely spend half a day as Kim was saying earlier. If you haven't already, make sure that you smack that subscribe button in the face. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let us know where else you think we should go. Other than that, stay safe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. This is what you got to do when you have no gym, guys. When you're traveling full time, you need to do a workout. Sometimes you just got to make use of the street art. That's a big workout. I'm just going to stroll along now.